welcome your host to the stage, Tom Ballard. Thank you. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to ABC Two's Comedy Up Late here at the High Five Bar of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival with a pack of legends. Yeah. That's, right. <laughs> That's you guys. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> I love music, I'm a really big music fan. I love music by singer-songwriters, dudes who wear cardigans and play ukuleles and stay inside all day. She's like, I'm like a snowflake. If a snowflake could feel emotion. All the guys at school pick on me cause I like to play netball. That's some of my original stuff. Uh, I'll be selling CDs after the show. That's the kind of shit I'm into. That's why I can't get on board with like top 40 mainstream commercial music. How fucking confident do you need to be to be a musician now? I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> sexy and I know it. What are you pumping a well? What are you... Every day I'm suffering. Really? Every day? That would be fucking annoying. That would be terrible. Remember that DJ Alligator song from 10 years ago? Blow my whistle, bitch. Who has that confidence? Who walks into a club, goes up to another human being and says, Blow my whistle, bitch. Do you mean your rape whistle? Because if so, I will happily oblige. <laughs> your name is DJ Alligator. I'm not going to fuck you. <laughs> I had this great conversation with a friend of mine about music recently. I'm puffed from doing that bit, by the way. That's <laughs> fucking hell. How unfit. <laughs> Just write less active jokes, Tom. It's old Betsy Strikes again there, there we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was having a conversation with my friend about music. He was telling me how he loved this band called Pop Etc, right? Now, Pop Etc are an American band, and they used to be called the Morning Benders. What happened is, they toured to the UK, a whole bunch of their fans came out and said, hey, Morning Benders, we love your band, but here in the UK, Bender's kind of a slur term for gay people, so it's a little bit weird liking, a little bit homophobic. And Morty Bender said, right, we're having none of that. We are changing our name. They changed their name to Pop Etc. Pop exclamation mark, etc. Which is ironically the gayest name for a band I've ever heard. <laughs> Narrowly beating out men at work and panic at the disco. <laughs> oh, Donald, no, here someone dropped the ramble. Now there's a panic at the disco! So my friend is telling me the story of how he likes Pop Etc and how they changed their name, but he screws up a crucial detail. He says, yeah, I like this band called Pop Etc. They changed their name recently. They used to be called The Morning Faggots. <laughs> and I laughed for three weeks. <laughs> Just to think that a band called The Morning Faggots would have any success at all, would be able to tour. No radio station is playing The Morning Faggots. That's Ron Keaton coming up soon, a classic from The Morning Faggots. <laughs> Stick around for the afternoon pufters. This is Fucked FM. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, ready for a big night of comedy? <laughs> Booyah, Michelle. <laughs> 